Hello, I'm Eric from Bosch and I'd like to show you the GSB18VEC. This is a dynamic series combi working from our 18 volt lithium ion battery platform and it has a brushless motor which is more efficient than a brush type motor so more screws driven, more holes drilled per battery charge but it has a couple of interesting additional features which I'd like to show you now. One is that there is a sensor, an accelerometer built into the control module at the bottom of the handle here which senses when the machine goes out of control, which shouldn't happen too often, but sometimes when a screw goes tight or a drill bit snags, the tool can spin in the operator's hand, which is not only uncomfortable, but might sort of throw you off balance if you're working on a platform or on some steps. So I'll just show you how that works by running the machine and then flicking it in the anti-clockwise direction, which is the way it will go if it jams. You can see the strobing light here indicates that that system is now active and all you need to do to reset the tool is to let go of the trigger and start again. Cool, right? The other feature we have on here is to do with the torque control ring, which is of course a common feature on a combi or a standard drill driver. Normally when you adjust the tightness of the screw, the mag uh, mechanical clutch here limits the tightening force but continues to ratchet. It makes a rattling sound and um, I'd like to show, that, so you show you that on a conventional combi, the, uh, the non-brushless dynamic series, by driving a screw in and, and you will see that even after the screw goes tight, it continues to ratchet and continues to tighten the screw, which could overwhelm the thread if you're um, working in soft materials like MDF or, or chipboard. So we'll do the same thing again, same size screw going into soft wood, but this time we are demonstrating, or I'm demonstrating, the precision clutch feature. There is an optical sensor inside the gearbox which senses that the required torque is reached and this switches off the motor. So it only allows the torque control clutch to ratchet for a couple of clicks and that's very clear when we do the demonstration here. You can see I'm still holding the trigger, the light is still on, but the machine is completely um, dead as far as any further tightening. So uh, the screw remains at the tightness that you want. It's more precise, hence the term precision clutch. It's saving wear and tear on the torque control clutch and generally gives the product uh, a more precise and, and professional feel in use.